But right now in 4.2, they changed it so only the side that you're trying to manipulate will be manipulated. I know it's another small feature, but these little quality of life things are what make Godot such a usable and fun engine. That's why Godot is better than Unity. Honestly, this is going to be a short video. I'm not going to talk about any of the new features that just came out, but what Lucky was explaining is literally why I love Godot compared to any other game engine. It is literally because the engine, the people making the engine are featuring these things only because we care. Whereas if we want to change a small thing or not we, but if you want to change a small thing in Unity compared to in Godot, it's basically like, <laughs> good luck. Maybe you will get it in like three years. Right. Whereas in Godot, you'll get it in a few months and it's so nice. And that is the, the primary point I would just highlight. If you're watching this and you don't use Godot and you're kind of struggling to pick between an engine, genuinely invest into Godot because eventually Godot will, I think, catch up to the other engines. People are already realizing this. They're already investing like real money. I'm not saying you invest money. I'm saying you should invest your time. People, other people are investing money into Godot because they know that Godot will eventually catch up. And I'm telling you as the person, you should invest your time into Godot, invest your, your knowledge into it, learn it. Um, because as the player base increases, as the, not player base, but the community of Godot increases, you will already be set. So, you know, um, I would suggest invest your time into Godot, learn Godot. It's a really good engine. Um, but I'm just going to highlight one more time. I honestly think Godot, the community of Godot is what builds and makes Godot the best engine out of all the other engines, because the engine is the community is what builds the engine. And those small features honestly are so cool. Like the color coding one for the file. That's really cool. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link Lucky's video down below. Go check it out um, either in the description or in the comments. Um, he's a you should also go sub to him. He's a pretty cool guy. I like watching his videos sometimes. Um, that's kind of it. I just kind of wanted to, you know, this isn't really a tutorial video. It's literally just like me ranting about Godot and Unity. I just, I was watching his Lucky's video and I wanted to make a video about Godot 4.2 coming out, um, but I'm not going to make any videos about the features because that's not really my channel. Um, but yeah, go, go uh, check out Lucky's video. I think he highlights a few key points. Um, you can also check out the blog. I think he links it in his description. I'll do it the same, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I actually have, uh, I'm actually studying for finals right now, so I'm not going to be posting anything for the next like two weeks. But after that, I'm going to be posting quite a bit. I'm going to have some uh, remakes of my RPG series. That's going to be fun. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to fully work because I will maybe put it on Udemy. I don't know if it's going to be free or not, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see something happen with a new course, but it most likely will be free. Um, what else? Oh, I'm going to be doing some stuff with Blender soon. So 3D, we're going to ex be expanding our channel into 3D content a lot more in the future. And I will have, you know, 2024 is coming up. I'm not going to spoil too much, but yeah. Anyways, I'm, I just stared into blank space for like a minute. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.